Hi everyone, this is Zi Hao Xu. Today I'm going to present our work, Graph Relational Domain Adaptation. This is a joint work with Hao He, Guang He Li, Yu Yang Wang, and Hao Wang. In our work, we incorporate a graph into adaptation tasks. Why we want to use graph in domain adaptation? The answer is, domains are actually not equal. Let's see an example. Suppose now you are transferring a weather prediction model trained on other states to New York State. Intuitively, New York should be influenced more from model trained in Pennsylvania rather than California. And the real data support this intuition. The first picture shows the temperature data of Pennsylvania and New York, and the second shows the data of California and New York. We can see that the data patterns in the first picture are much closer than in the second picture. This indicates that domains are heterogeneous. Domains are not created equally in the adaptation task. Such heterogeneity can often be captured by a graph. In the example of weather prediction, we can treat each state as a node, and the physical proximity between two states results in an age, just as shown in here. We can generalize this to any adaptation tasks where the domains realize the nodes and the adjacency between two domains can be captured by an age. That's why we include domain graph in adaptation. We want to emphasize that current domain adaptation methods cannot support the domain graph. Our method is the first general adversarial method to adapt cross domains living on a graph. Then comes the question, how to use the graph? The key point here is to use a novel graph discriminator. For traditional method, the discriminator will classify the domain index, where ours will try to discriminate the domain connection. This is challenging because the graph discriminator will take encodings from multiple domains and then conduct graph learning tasks. By discriminating the connection, our discriminator can finally reconstruct the domain graph. Our model structure is shown here. We highlight the key difference between our model and other models in red. It follows the adversarial learning framework where encoder E, discriminator D, and the predictor F plays a min-max game. Here, LE denotes the predictor loss, and LD denotes the, the graph discriminator loss. The discriminator will try to reconstruct the domain graph, and the encoder tries to fool the discriminator by removing domain-related information. To achieve this, the encoder takes the adjacency matrix of domain graph as an extra input. We have also analyzed our model theoretically. We find that, first, traditional method is equivalent to using our method with a fully connected graph, a click. Second, D and E converge if and only if this equation holds. Intuitively, this means that when model converges, the encoder will remove all the information about domain connection. And finally, the global optimal of the two-player game between E and D matches the three-player game EDF. The first property is very important because it illustrates, it illustrates that our model takes the advantage of heterogeneity. We still take the weather prediction as an example. Traditional method is equivalent to adapt across a fully connected graph, while in our method, the domain graph is built on the geographic connection of each state. This makes our model much more powerful than other models. Our experiments support our statements. On dataset DG15, our model has a large gap with other models for at least 10% accuracy improvement. For more experiments, results, and analysis, please refer to our code and paper. Thank you.